Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a review and wear test on the new Maybelline Superstay Foundation. I got two shades because, you know, I didn't know exactly what shade I was. I ordered this online from Ulta. I got the shades 356 Warm Coconut and 355 Coconut. In the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, I'm usually in between the shades 355 Coconut and 360. I'm not sure exactly what shade I am so I'm going to swatch both side by side on my face and see which one I like better so I'm just starting off with the shade I usually am in um, the fit me foundation and this one is 355 coconut and now I'm going to take 356 Now this one is 356 warm coconut and this is 355. I think both of these could be my shade. But I guess it's like based on what you like in a foundation. I'm still trying to learn about undertones and stuff like that, but I can tell that there is a a difference even though it's kind of minuscule. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the shade 355 coconut and just a little bit. Um, I'm going to prime using the Maybelline Master Prime. This is the blur and smooth one. I heard that this foundation is pretty full coverage and um, mattifying and that's good for me because I'm pretty oily. Even in the um, winter months I still accumulate oil like not as much as in the summer but still a significant amount. Alright, so this foundation claims to have up to 24 hours of wear, um, full coverage, seamless matte finish. It claims to be breathable and comfortable, fade and transfer resistant, and oil free. So those are all the claims of it. I also love how it has a pump. The only thing I don't like about the packaging is that it's white. And you know, me being brown, I, I'll get a lot of marks and stains on it. So I don't necessarily like um, white packaging, but that's just a personal preference. But I'm just gonna pump it onto my hand. Uh, it's the shade 355 again. And then I'm just gonna dot it on. I'm gonna use my beauty blender to blend it in. Ooh, that is really full coverage. Wow. Make sure to take it onto my ear and down my neck. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I'm filming in different surroundings. When you watch my last video, um, I mentioned how I was moving, and um, yeah, over the past two weeks, um, we have moved, and yeah, I'm filming from a new space, I have a new setup, and everything. I'm still trying to, you know, make it my own and get comfortable in it, so. If you see stuff changing in the next few videos, it's just me getting comfortable with everything and finding out what I like and don't like. So this is what one and a half pumps got me and it covered my whole face. I like the coverage that it gave me. It covered a good amount of my acne scarring and stuff like that. I also think the, cover, the color is nice. I'm just going to go with a half a pump more. Um, on my cheek area because that's where I like the most coverage. So I'm just going to see if it builds up nicely. Oh yeah, I definitely like how that built up. It's very nice. So yeah, this is what I'm left with. I wouldn't say like it's really, really dry, 
but it is um it's not dewy but you can still see um, there is a little glow um you know that the foundation left so i'm gonna go and finish up the rest of my makeup and then i'll come back when i have a full face on all right guys so this is my full face done um i used quite a few new products um on my face today and i'm filming another video on me testing out all the other products so that will be up soon but i'm going to zoom in and show you what the foundation looks like So I think it looks really good. I really like the coverage of it and it's been I think about uh, an hour since I initially put it on because I put the rest of my makeup on and stuff and my oils aren't breaking through yet. I like that. Um, I'll have to either come back to you guys and show you what it looks like out throughout the day but if I forget I'll be sure to put it in the description box. I really like this foundation. I've The only other Maybelline foundation that I have tried and I really like is the Maybelline Fit Me so I'm really glad that there's another foundation that I can add to my drugstore collections. Hey guys so as you can see it's a different day. Um, yesterday I was supposed to do check-ins but we got snow and um, it really affected the power we had um, a couple of power outages so I wasn't able to um, check in or anything but I wore the makeup till about 10 p.m. and I really liked how it looked but I wanted to you know wear it again today and check in with you guys because I still wanted to make the video be you know a wear test and everything so I put my makeup on at about 11 o'clock this morning and it's one o'clock now and I think it's still holding up pretty nice but of course I'll be doing more check-ins with um, you guys throughout the day I just can't believe how snowy it is like it doesn't snow like this in Georgia um, we usually get snow in January or February but we got like eight inches of snow yesterday and throughout the night last night so my Wi-Fi was going in and out and my power was going out in and out too so it's, I'm sitting out here um, waiting for my sister I had to take her to ballet today and we have a couple more um, stops to do before we go home so I'll be sure to check in with you guys throughout my day so I'm in Target right now and I can never come into Target without looking at the TV or movie section <laughs> I'm in here for a for a what am I in here for I forgot what I'm in here for I think I'm in here for a mouse. Yeah, I'm in here for a mouse so I can edit. But, oh, look at all these movies. That one was funny. I like that one. <gasps> Brooklyn! That was a great movie. I love that one. Ooh. Guys, are you proud of me? Because I'm proud of me. I went in for the mouse and I only got the mouse. I usually come out with a lipstick or a movie or something, but I just got the mouse. Proud of myself. So now I have to go pick up Lisa. All right, I'll check in later. All right, guys. So I'm back home, and since my last check-in at around one o'clock, um, I've been to. I've been at the church where my sister dances and went, made a stop at uh, Target and we ate afterwards. So now it's around um, 3.41. Yes, 3.41. Yeah, whatever. It's 3.41. And um, this is what my face looks like right now. I think it's holding up pretty well. My oils are starting to come through. Like around my normal areas where I get oily, my T-zone and everything, but it's not anything that's out of the ordinary. And I'm not creasing around my smile line, so that's good. I'll do, uh, I'll zoom in for you guys. You can see I'm oily around here, a bit shiny here, but it's not, it's not too bad. And of course, you can take care of that with blotting so I'm a blot just... 
that's after blotting and everything so I'm still happy with the way it looks right now so I think I'll do one more check-in in the evening before I take all of my makeup off so. alright guys so it's 10 p.m. 10 11 to be exact and this is what I look like As you can see, I'm quite shiny around my nose and my forehead, but everything stayed on pretty well. Um, yeah, I'm not bad at it at all. Yeah, it hasn't settled in really bad into my smile lines. I have other foundations that crease really bad um, in my smile lines, and this hasn't done that, so that's a point for this foundation. I've been wearing it for 11 hours and I only blot it once, but for uh, 11 hours of wear, I think this is really good. It claims to be light on your skin, so I think that's true. I don't feel it. I don't feel heavy or cakey or anything, so that's good. I think this is a really good foundation for the price. The only thing that when looking on the Ulta website to um, by the foundation they didn't have that many shades yeah on the Ulta website um, it only has the foundation only comes in 16 shades and I think only four maybe five are supposed to cater to darker skin tones um, the rest of the 11 are of course for lighter skin women so after to me after getting used to the diversity of the Maybelline Fit Me line. This was kind of surprising to show that they have um, only 16 shades. Yeah, that kind of sucks for uh, darker skinned women who only have a certain, um, like a certain amount of shades to work with. Um, I think I'm actually on the lower end of the spectrum. Actually, there are two more under the two shades that I got. So. I have warm, yeah, warm coconut was um, 356, and then they have mocha that's under that, and then um, truffle. So there are two more shades under me. I really like this foundation. I thought it was for win for me. The only cons are the shade range. I think that could be improved. And a personal preference for me is that I don't like to deal with white packaging, but I do enjoy the fact that it has a pump and the long wear, the um, long wear time that it has and how it doesn't crease in my smile lines or anything like that. So I do enjoy this foundation and I will be wearing it in the future. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see me do more vlog type wear tests, please leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll try to do more of them. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.